working with Vex. It's a very good good cop bad cop routine. <laughs> Good cop, no. dry, prolonged uh, sentences, cop. <laughs> See, you don't want ha, you don't want too. me to release my associate on you, do you? Clack, clack. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you guys, uh, where are you driving? Or I, I should say, remember, assumed competence is off. I need to know what you're doing for the next hour and a half. Okay. Um. Uh, I want to assess them quickly. Was my first thing. Both got, mundane. Like, both mundane. Um, the uh, older man does have a uh, data jack, but that's all. Okay. And I wanted to perception check them to see if there's anything on them. Visual okay. start. And then I would start patting them down okay. afterwards. And here it is the uh, pat down. If we're going to do anything combat related, quote unquote, We'd have to do it within the next 20 minutes or Suede is going to crash. Uh, when you crash, track. I can not heal you and I think we can first aid you. Okay. All right. Um, so that'll be a thing at least. Okay. So we are, we are now in Touristville. Um, and um, we're keeping an eye on them. Evasive maneuvers. Um, does anyone know off the top of their head how that works exactly? Um, that won't come up. I'll explain why in a minute. But it, that that won't be necessary. I mean, you you can be doing that, but as far as the opposed rule, won't be necessary. Okay. Yeah, there are chase actions on page two hundred four. That would be the okay. only thing would be mm -hmm. to to break away from them, and that's okay. dependent on if it's a speed environment, which is real straight straightaways, or handling, which is like dark alleyways. Okay. All right. Um. Well, they don't see us. Uh, we've got. Oh, and um. He'll, uh, Vex will turn to Knight, who has been very obviously sensing the hell out of people, and he'll just say, "You, you do seem ever so keen on uh, on your little talent, there, and I, I do appreciate that you're doing it. Um, I have a couple of mirrors here. Um, if you would like to stick one just slightly out the window and just just a crack, if, if you ever feel the need to do that on them, you can do it that way. But I'd rather you not. But we could all just kind of keep a little." Our eyes on the uh, the people behind us. That would be ever so good. So, uh, since you don't want me shooting at their cars, yes, uh, I would rather you not partake in violence, especially now that we're in more civilized territory. What about uh, just shutting their cars down? Uh, well, um, if you feel the the need to be ever so aggressive. Regardless of what I say or do, I, I cannot really stop you at the end of things. You will be prone to do them yourself. Uh, I'll leave that to you. Um, real quick, Knight, with your, uh, your, your look over and pat down uh, the four successes and one success, I assume that was... Uh... The ones touched, the four was looking. Okay. Um, looking over them, you do find a couple of things. Um, you know, uh, com links, ID cards, cred sticks, that sort of stuff. Um, as far as the pat down, nothing. Nothing that stands okay. out. Okay, so I was just checking for guns and such because I don't want the father to suddenly think he's a hero. Mm -hmm. And with so, that, I'll just keep watching them. We will break this up into nice little 30-minute segments. We'll say that was the, the first 30 minutes. Um, and at, at the end of 30 minutes, you notice that the, uh, the cars have pulled off. They're no longer following you. So the next thirty-minute segment, if anybody wants to wants to do anything, otherwise I'm going to assume you're just um, driving around, making your way lazily um, and windingly to uh, the drop location. Uh, uh, I would say that we would, uh, if if we don't see anyone, uh, we would stop off at like a, a Denny's or some other place that's both public and you know is known to have. Not cops, but people who uh, criminals don't want to be around, if that makes sense. Yeah, civilians, public, yeah. you know, very, very yeah. public kind of place. Yeah, and just kind of um, get out for a moment and have a couple of people kind of kick the tires, to, so to say. Mm -hmm. um, which would effectively be, um, since we have one guy who's really good at it, um, you know, a sense the car, one guy, you know, di uh, digitally check the car. If you If you guys are feeling paranoid. Otherwise, yeah, we would just go right to it. Like I said, remember, mm -hmm. assume competence is off, so tell me exactly what you're doing. Yep. Um, well, if, if it's been 30 minutes, I think 
uh, I need to do some first aid on Swade. Yep, because yeah. Swade is crashing hard after Nitro. He's taking nine stun, unresisted. I will also after assist that, in first steel. aid. I don't have after my do first aid. I can throw steel. Yeah. Big kit on me though. Does anybody oh, have theirs? Uh, hold on. Okay. Do I? I don't think I have a kit. No, I don't. I don't have a med kit. Unfortunately, my med kit would still be either in the uh, apartment building, hopefully not getting stolen, or in my car. So, you were assisting on first aid? Yeah, and I got two hits. Alright, so that's going to be... I should probably send over Clarence's sheet that Stark and Cran made at this point. Because he's <laughs> apparently become an actual character in this game. So. <laughs> uh, what, huh? No, he, he's just an NPC. Okay, alright, because if things are needed, sadly I have them. Yeah, if, but, they're, if they're needed, if they come up, but um, I, my, I try really hard not to make NPC stars for players, you know? Yeah, no, I, I tried not to either, uh, but SC, uh, God love him, made this man way too real, and I, I love it, though. <laughs> he's, I, he, he's, he's adorable. There's uh, four hits on first aid for Swade. Okay. Also, heal wouldn't do anything to help him because, um, what's it called? He only works on physical, and he only took stun. Yep. That's right. He took a ton of stun, but it's still only stun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's kind of motioning him off real weak, you know, trying to, to stay awake. Mm -hmm. Oh, God damn, Ben, you're a monster. Sorry, I'm what? looking at the uh, uh, weekly metrics. <laughs> what? What did I do? Seven runs in the last week? I have it's no life. Solo runs. Or is that regular runs? No, that's runs he's been on. Oh. Do they have, uh, where do you track this? Uh, d d I don't know who did it. I'm tired. Boom don't shit. ask questions, okay. I'm sleepy. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Alright, so you guys, just you, you guys I'd are stopping. trying to pick uh, players before and you, you healed him. What else are you doing on your little stop here? Oh, well, I probably should do a matrix perception on the car, just to make sure they didn't tag us when we didn't notice. Yeah, okay. You should probably just run a tag eraser over it, too, in case there's something that you can't see. So, have we stopped? Yes. Okay. Right now, you are in the uh, the parking lot to, we will say, a, uh, a Denny's. Six successes on the perception. There are three tags on the back of the car. Well, then I guess it is time to tag erase them. Okay, they get erased. Scan it again. Uh, may I raise a possible idea? Uh, switching cars? Or at least uh, Camellia encoding the car, something that makes it look like what it's not? Oh, oh if you want that, and this is where the sending of the sheet was kind of coming in. Um, well, does yeah. the car have... I mean, because I assume it's your car, or is it actually his car? Uh, that's where it gets weird. I pay an exorbitant amount every month for it to be his car and not my car. Um, okay. But he does have... this. Yeah, this is why I kind of feel kind of skeezy about this, but he has chameleon coating. Uh, m let's see. Heavy mount. Uh, heavy mount. Uh, maneuvering. Morphing license plates. Rigor interface. Spoof chips. Yeah. So he's yeah, got... Uh, yeah, he's got spoof chips. He's got he's got the full suite of. This is not the same car as you saw before. That's pretty um, standard for runner cars. Yeah. So that's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so um, I think that's something we should do. Like we pull up, you know, we find somewhere quiet, yeah. quiet and we're getting the food. Oh uh, yes. It pulls um, out. It's gonna look different. And if you would like, um, I'm sure we could we could call up, uh, or if one of you has a vehicle that you did not bring here. Uh, like a four-door sedan I'm talking about, not a, a motorcycle. Nothing wrong with them, it just doesn't work right now. Um, if you were to call it and uh, have it go to a parking garage, we could uh, effectively divide and conquer. I pull up into the parking garage, we pretend to do the same thing we just did here. Uh, you secretly get out, put yourselves in that other vehicle. Uh, uh, I drive out, and then a few minutes later, you drive out with the actual 
package in tow. And you leave me and Clarence to uh, send off whatever hoard comes our way, and you all collect the pay. I'm, I'll be fine. Don't you worry about me. Well, if only I could do so. Oh, you can. Uh, in fact, I insist. So is that the plan? I'm sorry. So I wasn't paying attention. I'm Do a terrible I person. Basically, swap cars. Yeah, I like this okay. idea. Like, uh, just you know, swap vehicles. This will, if we do it subtly enough, this will sort of uh, prevent yeah. any tails. When you get into downtown, there's enough parking garages and uh, lifestyle covers it. I mean, you can go in, and as long as I mean, somebody does have another vehicle, correct? I do have a uh, motorbike, which I am going to scan for tags. Yeah, no, it's the, the 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 vehicles that were in the parking lot behind the apartment are not tagged. We okay. should focus on the um, on the truck or the car that was there instead, because motorcycles really won't work to get the uh, the two people out of the the limo. Yeah. Crash car has a truck, right? Yeah, but uh, I can't call it from where it's at. Why not? It's got no grid guide. Oh, right. Yeah, it does that no grid guide, and I don't. I can't even VR it because I don't have the rigger interface in it. Yeah, I know. Um, forgot about that. Yep, you wouldn't have been able to call your motorcycle out either. Yep, you're right. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll get them later. If um, we're still there. I believe in America. Well, uh, they all better be there because when you guys told me I couldn't sh keep shooting at the cars, I set my drones back to watch my car. <laughs> yeah, your drones are watching over it. They have to fire off a couple people, but you know, I mean, it's not a not a huge deal if your drones are there. <laughs> I just realized how many times Ke probably has to just like walk into a a bad situation of dog brain uh, drones that were given a bad command. <laughs> Oh, I'm watching my drones to make sure. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. I'm not saying you. I just like that occurred in my brain. It's like, oh my god. Yep. Normal people being given drones. No, fuck no. That's why they're restricted. This is they are. Uh, was spirits too. I remember one job I did. We went to down in the sewer, and we had the spirit tell us if there were any people down in the sewer. The spirit comes up. There are no people, but an entire nest of basilisks. Because <laughs> <laughs> we asked to hear up if there were people or not. Yep. And it's like no. no. Okay, because there are no because people it, down it there. It is getting master. a little late. Let's let's uh, get back on track here for yeah. everybody. My apologies. Uh, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's uh, that's on all of us. So you have uh, scanned the car. You've erased the three tags. Is there anything else that you want to do? Scan it again. Um. I mean, we could do. We could look around the lot for uh, suspicious folk before we get back in. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing to do. Um, but yeah, also spending time in one location um, for a prolonged period of time, even if we've killed the chips, is not so great for us because they saw the chips go off, or they at least, they at the very least, have this location. And if we spend more time here, it means that it's time for them to catch up. Yeah. Let's go to the place where we were supposed to go. Uh, one more location, just to kind of shake it. Okay. This is, you get to another location. Any any actions you guys want to do here? You have scanned the car with uh, the, the scanner and erased the tags. Okay. And you've changed the chameleon coating and spoofed the plates. Are there any sp spirits nearby? Are there any sp spirits nearby, uh, GM? Apart from the one I summoned. Yeah, I mean, there, yeah. there's no suspicious spirits. We'll put it that way. Okay. No, no pertinent spirits. Who? And I'm Technically, going to spirits go are kind of like everywhere if they want to be, right. but you know. And I'm going to go ahead and dismiss my spirit. Okay. Were we were we able to um, pull off in the location where there is no traffic at the moment? If you wish, oh. yes, that's possible. Okay. Okay. All right. And as we do, I would like to, uh, and I would, Vex would tell everyone to kind of make a mental note of the vehicles that we see before we make this next turn. And uh, I will be rolling a memory check for when we pull out. Uh, uh, did, did you want me to make a perception first, or? Yeah, everybody who wants to try to keep track of the vehicles, roll me a perception test. If you get more than three hits, you can make a memory test. Okay. I 
think I got nine. Let's see. Da -dum. Da -dum. Da -dum. Da -dum. Da -dum. No, I'm not that distracted though. Sweet is on the ball with that five hits, nine dice. It was that half bottle of scotch. <laughs> that always helps. Especially for a troll. <laughs> it's like, all right, that helped clear my head. It's a good starter. So once again, if you got more than what I say, three hits, you can make a memory test. Yeah, I rolled three hits on the memory test. Oh, you got three on the memory test? Okay. Oh, I got three on the memory. Thanks for three on the visual. All right, yeah. So, you know. That so, happened. Uh, who else? Uh, Swade still needs to make a memory test, I believe. I want to give all the information at once. So we've got three hits on a memory test, four hits, and six hits. Um, Crash Cart and Geek, did you guys make the perception test to make the memory test or no? I, I failed the perception test. I only got Same. two hits. Okay. I only got one. Um, there is two cars following you that are suspiciously familiar. It looks like their color is different, but um, they, they're the same model of car that uh, followed you out of the Barrens. They are keeping a well distance back. It looks like they're keeping about six to eight blocks back. Um, you know, a very, very long distance where it's actually really hard to actually catch seeing okay. them. Yep. But um, they are definitely following you. How many minutes until the meet? Um, we'll say 30 minutes. Okay. I will, um, I will turn to uh, our resident deckers. And I'll say, this next one needs to be a little bit more secure. Um, now, I've got one of these, and he pulls up his... Fair like Caliban. He's like, but I'm not sure. Is this a good one or is it not? Yeah, that is, I believe that one is adequate for all of, all uses you would have. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to, though. Does that make sense? I, does anyone have? And he pulls out like just a, a great little metal. Is there any way that we could like make this a little bit better? I don't want to use this. Ah, uh, well, you know what? I, I have something in between that we can use. Oh well, if you if if I may. And he'll kind of reach out his hand. And I'm going to give you a Hermes icon. Okay. And Vex will put on his uh, reading glasses as he kind of does that um, awkward in his late 50s uncle thing of trying to figure out the phone but seeming to almost get it most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and he tr as he transfers one com code over to the other and then makes the call from the Hermes. Okay. And he'll just say, uh, he'll call up the woman again. Yes. Now, I'm so sorry. I, I ever hate to be the bother, but it appears as if we have friends who want to uh, join in on our party. Now, Are you saying that the, uh, the meat is not going to be secure on your end? Well, I was just wondering, perchance, if you happen to have a couple friends of your own who could... Uh, Provide light discouragement. If you can't, I understand. Uh, there are certain things beyond other uh, certain people's means, and uh, I'm willing to try an another route. I was just thinking of you first. Let me make a few calls, and I will get back to you. Um, I would suggest that, uh, in your best interest, losing the tail on your own would be the optimal solution. Uh, if that is not possible, I will call you back in. She looks at her watch. Ten minutes with a new location and a plan of action. That is perfectly fine. I just thought that you should know. It, uh, I do apologize. Sometimes these leeches like to latch on a little bit thicker and firmer than most. It's perfectly understandable. I will call you in ten, and if you'll excuse me not to be rude, but I do need to make a few calls quickly. Absolutely. And she hangs up. So, can I try to break the cars yet? Um, I'd try to figure out how they're following us. Well, uh, they must have. They they might just be really good at remembering our car uh, because it's the same. It's still the same physical. Like it's still the same chassis. Well, six to eight blocks behind is almost impossible to keep up without knowing where that person is going. Like so, I said, you don't have line of sight to them at all times. Uh, uh, it's very very hard to see uh, them at all. Uh, could it be ritual magic? Yeah. That's, could it that's be a, oh wait, do the we guy have, we napped? Wait, do we have the? Do we still have the fucking thing in the car? For one scan thing? them. Yeah, let's scan the dudes. That's All right. Matrix yeah. perception. Yeah. Matrix perception. And if it is ritual magic, we're pretty much just hosed in general, I think. They were already yeah. assessed. 
Yeah. Ritual magic would leave a link back ritual. to the, the caster. Yeah. It's not ritual. I checked. But yeah, I didn't no, check that's, the yeah. tags. Like not, I didn't get yeah. a good roll. Check it, I got five hits to check them for tags. Uh, they both are sending out a signal. <laughs> I'd like to not check you for ticks. Well, guess what? Guess what I have? I have a jammer, <laughs> an area jammer that will uh, work oh, uh, mm -mm. for. Uh, a... Just don't do that because then we fuck up the cars around us. Ah, fair enough. Uh, then I w then let's uh. Tag eraser. These are probably embedded, so the tag erasers won't work. Let's fucking brick them, yo. Uh, could we? All right, we can do that. Analyze to see what they are. Let's do an analyze device first to see what they are, maybe. Well, we have to find the device. You know, you got to use it. it. So, five successes. What are those things that are sending out signals? Um, they both have an embedded uh, security tag underneath the skin. That's what I thought. Now let's brick them. No, yeah. well, you can just brick them, yeah. So, I need to... Can we... Got five can... hits to brick it. Can you Which ask the question if it's connected to anything else first? Just um, in case it's like a... Yeah, yeah if they break it, they else? die, for example. Yeah. Alright, is it connected to anything else? Yep. What's it connected to? On him, it's connected to um, his data jack. On her, it's connected to uh, some piece of cyborg in her head. Oh, Jesus. There's a fucking cranial bomb. I knew it. Alright. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, does... no, I've got it. Okay. Right, it's fine. Um, what? Ask for the rating of both of the things that are sending out a signal. Yes. Um, the tag rating is actually pretty low. I'd say it's like a. Well, not really low, but low enough uh, because of the, the investment. I, I'm going to say the tags are rating four. I think that should be about right. I don't okay. know what the the rating of the data jack is, and I don't know what the rating of the uh, the mysterious head cyberware is. It'd be whatever okay. standard. Okay, because you can turn um, your decks into jammers, as we remember. Yes, but I also have an area jammer. Yes, what? but uh, if you do a directional jammer and you point it with your deck and you point it right at the thing, we don't fuck up the cars around us. You can also... Um limit uh, how far out the area jammer goes. Okay. Oh, you can. Um, the yeah. jamming the jamming efficiency though is is effect directly affected by its rating and so is the um so is the area if I remember correctly. Like a rating 4 goes out farther and it's stronger because it goes out farther. Like you can use a rating 4 as a rating 1, but oh, the jamming okay. isn't as strong. That, yep. That's if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. Which I mean makes well, sense. Well, I think rating 4 is 4 meters, which yeah, that would still affect the cars next to you. Um yeah, it's like the uh, eighteen feet. Another matrix reception. What is the head thing? It is a cranial bomb. Ah, oh, that's fun. What flavor of cranial bomb? The kind that goes uh, boom and everything. Or, well, not really. It, it's not a big one. Um, it's basically enough that it is going to uh, blow up a key part of her brain. It's going to kill her, but not not like it's not going to blow her head open. If that makes sense. It's more like a small implanted bomb that functions like a cranial bomb. Okay. And with all of the hits that he's gotten and all of the knowledge that the other people would have, would they know that if, like, the signal is stopped, uh, the thing would go off, or...? If the signal is stopped, um... I'm gonna say that, uh, because it wouldn't just go off, but at the same time, they wouldn't want it to be able to just be jammed, so it, it'll start, like, a countdown. Okay. And uh, we'll say that if uh, if it doesn't regain signal within 30 minutes, it goes off. That's, okay. a, that's a fair enough amount of time that if it's an accident or they're driving through, say, the Barrens, okay. that uh, they can reach somewhere where the signal is reconnected. Okay. And um, the gentleman, mm -hmm. uh, does he have a cranial bomb as well? Is that what we found? or? Nope. It goes to his data check. Okay. Um, your, your tests are high enough. Uh, so basically, we're... all his is, is it... Uh, if hers goes off, it sends him a message. Okay. Uh, so we can jam his. No, no harm, no foul. Uh huh. Um. And matter of fact, with the number of hits, basically the message is, um, "Your daughter's dead, and it's your fault." Kind of deal. It's it's basically letting him know what happened, but not in a nice way. Like not like something he's monitoring. It just hooks into the data jack's DNI and displays it for him. 
<sighs> well, I'll, oh, okay, all right, so here's the deal. I'm not going to make it to the meet, guys. Um, I'm out to see you. No, 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 no. Um, Vex, he's like, this is really unfortunate. Uh, he, he makes a call, and Vex calls up a cab to meet him at a location that's basically a few blocks down. Mm-hmm. Um, and the plan is, since they're keeping such a long distance... It's going to be one that's just right around the corner. And he's going to. The plan is you guys pile out of the car and get into that cab before they make line of sight on us. And Clarence and I keep driving with the girl in the car. And we just keep distracting them until the meet happens. At which point you can inform them uh, of what's going on with the girl. And basically, I play uh, a game of uh, red herring, uh, fox hunt, with the chase cars. While you guys collect the pay, and yes. how do we, we think he's just kill them. going? What? Or we could just kill them. Yeah, we could. Well, I, I was only offering this because he had seen how much you guys wanted uh, to keep the little girl alive. So he was just he stopped fighting that. Yeah. Yep. They might kill sweet. the girl if we kill them. Yeah. Good point. Well, you're assuming that the guy's following you, and I'm, I'm just telling you this because the length of time and everything, and like I said, with an extra player, this will go longer. But I don't want it to. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want it to be another combat longer. So, uh, there's nothing saying the guys that are following you are the ones the signal's being sent to. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's the only assumption that we have to go off of two at this yeah. point. Go with your plan. Yeah. The only reason why I don't like your plan is because you might get armed. Honestly. It's one of those, uh, what I'm trying to say is, they're obviously taking orders, but that doesn't mean that they're the ones, the, the signal probably isn't going to them. They're a hit team. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah, yes. Let's, just, let's, let's yeah. do it. Just, do your plan. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like, I was just trying to avoid another another combat uh, turn, hopefully. Or just have one that works so quickly that uh, yeah. I just say GG and bring in Carp the Magi. Well, I mean, you know, it, point the point down comes down to it. We don't really have enough time for another combat. And if you want, yeah. if you guys want to take out the other team, I'm not going to stop you. But I'm going to cinematic it, and it's going to be very quick because they aren't the threat here anymore. Yes, they're following you, but taking them out doesn't solve the innate so, problem. Let's go with yeah. Vex's plan of uh, splitting up, splitting the party while Vex runs uh, interference. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever happens, happens. Actually, here's yep. my thought. The mob is getting people because they know we're being followed. Mm. Right? My yeah. thought is we call them, let them know that we found trackers and that they're linked to a bomb. That way they're prepared. And wow, we have these people. We have six to eight blocks worth of time. <laughs> that means we go, we drop them off, and we skirt. And then the mob has to deal with it. Uh, yeah, but if the... if something shitty happens to the, the pay that's still technically on us uh, because we're responsible until delivery. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We deliver, it, and it, it would look oh, just okay. like another, you, yeah. Okay, I thought you were saying well, we drop them off in like a cab. I was like, no, 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 no. Okay. No, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, Mine's an escrow, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't have to physically pick up cred sticks or anything like that? Nope. Okay. Yeah, just drop drop the uh, drop the the squirt and the guy off. Let because I mean, they already know the situation. Yeah. But at that point, that's more than we are equipped to deal with. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, I think they would understand that at that point it would be. Let's hope the mob has yeah. a bomb defusal surgeon. Yeah. Yeah. So at this I'll... point, your comlink rings. Uh, or the, yeah, Vex, your comlink rings. Okay. I will, I will call. Hello. Yes, um, I do believe that we can uh, make arrangements. Here's the new meat location, and uh, I can have some um, some muscle there for protection, but uh, if you so require that, it will come out of your pay to pay them. Well, here's the deal. Um, it, it appears as if the only reason why we have not lost them is not due to uh, our driver's impeccable skill. Rather, it has to deal with... Um, well, unfortunately, there seems to be a little bit of a... a I don't, want, I don't know the proper terms for this. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just have to use the vulgar word here. The cranial bomb is, uh, is in, uh, it seems to be uh, a couple, uh, embedded into a head, uh, which is most unfortunate. Uh, I because don't it think also they know about the girl. Yeah, they don't know about the girl, but 
Um, Vex, as far as he's concerned, um, they're now a package item, uh, according to the team. And so to him, if there's a cranial bomb in one, there's a cranial bomb in both. Uh, until sense. he is told specifically otherwise. Um, it's, uh, uh, where was I? I'm sorry. Um, yeah. There appears to be a cranial bomb that's attached to a, a little signal that they've been using to track. Um, now, I assume that you would love to have this gentleman uh, intact, and he would most certainly not be intact if, uh, if this cranial bomb were to go off. No, no, you're right. He wouldn't be. Um, we can take care of that. That won't be a problem, um, especially because we have a preemptive notice. We will uh, we will do the drop and uh, the exchange quickly at the location. Um, and uh, then we will we will take care of it from there. But thank you for the forewarning. Does that mean you won't be needing the muscle? Uh, we most likely will not, as long as you understand what is coming in tow. No, no, that that's perfectly understandable. Package as accepted. Um, I will call off the muscle then, and we will deal with it after the uh, handoff. Yes, and um, it appears that if if you would like optimal workflow from this gentleman, uh, you may need uh, two cyber surgeons. Two. Yes, uh, these tricky little buggers decided not to just fill uh, one man's brain with problems, but also a man's brain and a, and a little girl. And he seems attached. He seems almost disgusted when he says the word. A little girl? Um, oh, his, his daughter? You, you got his daughter as well? Yes, the, 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 little, the little thing is with us, yes. I see. Um, that is, uh, that's good news. I will pass this along to my employers, and I will see you at the meet, and she looks at her watch, in 20 minutes. Absolutely. You have yourself a wonderful day. You too, sir. And she hangs up. I have wonderful news, everyone. Everything is A-okay. Let's just keep on driving. Okay, so are you guys doing anything uh, in particular in the 20 minutes, or are you just uh, driving around until you get to the new meat location? It's uh, it's on the other side of downtown, same kind of thing, a, uh, a low B zone, but a, uh, a warehouse that is, uh, you know, subsidiary of a subsidiary of a subsidiary and so forth. Gotcha. Other than just... keeping my eyes open, both visually and in the Matrix, I don't think I'm doing much. Yep. Okay. Constant perception same. checks, making sure that... You know, we're not we're not about to get jackknifed by a semi truck. Okay. Um, on the. I mean, it's like you, you let us go, let us go. I, I give you notes. It, it be okay. You you, now, you, now, you you take formula. Let us go. Now now you hush. All right. We I thought we had that little deal worked out. Do you uh, need something a little stronger for chance? And he'll kind of lean in and. Uh, He'll show a small array of uh, different types of drugs if uh, if the man is inclined to anything. Um, he looks like he doesn't want it, but he did, he does keep repeating that. He's getting like a little more irate, like about letting them go. You know what? You look like a man who needs a little bit of um, hmm, kind of like fingers around. And at this point, I should probably make a composure check because I'm exposing myself to so many indulgences. <laughs> oh shit! That would mean I need to too. <sighs> I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Um, I said, you look like mm, yes, a, a Zen man. Zen. That looks pretty good for for what for what ails you. Uh, pulls one out and uh, he just kind of starts prepping the Zen form. You, you will you partake in this a little bit or? No, no, no. Just let 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 no, us go. No, I give you formula. I let insist. us go. I, I would be a horrible host if I didn't at least offer you a little bit. And he'll kind of you know, start to push it uh, towards him. He, he clearly doesn't want it, but at the same time, if you want to force it on him, there are enough people in here he can't physically resist. Oh, no. If, if, uh, he, doesn't, if he doesn't want it, he's not going to get it. But um, that's he just going to be... He is getting more and more irate. Like, you know, like, he's getting worried at this point. Like, he wants look, to go. Look, sir, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, well, but then don't, letting don't you be. go is hey, probably you know. going to kill you. Not through anything we do, but just your circumstances. No, no, no. My, 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 my cousin. He doctor. He, he, he fix. He fix Keiko. We, it, it okay. You let us go. Yes, I, I understand what you think is going to happen, but there's a few more variables in play. And uh, again, if, if you're not quiet, you're going to ruin this wonderful car ride. I mean, look at the beautiful scenery I'm taking you through. 
Are you not gonna appreciate any of this? Um, in, in the sake of, for the sake of time, he is getting more and more. Basically, you're going to have to knock him out, drug him something for him to be calm. Uh, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna intimidate him. All right, I. Um, all right, give me a, give me an intimidate check. That might work. Okay. Yeah. I would I would love to assist in some way if if then that would be all right. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean if, if he accepts uh, Vex as his lord and savior, you can assist. <laughs> I mean, certainly. I will I'll take help on an intimidation check. Especially the good cop, bad cop routine. I could see that working pretty well. <laughs> Let's see. Intimidation is intimidation plus charisma versus intimidation plus willpower. I don't like that. I'm going to use his composure roll instead. I think it's stupid that intimidate is resisted by intimidate. That was a bad roll there. Uh, that's perfectly fine. That's all I can take anyway. You can take up to a certain amount of ranks if you do teamwork. So, But that bumps him from 14 to 16. And composure is what? Willpower and... I'm charisma. going to re-roll that. Willpower and charisma, okay. So uh, let me know before uh, before you're done so I can make his roll. I should say when you're done. Hey, that's... That's much better. Significantly better, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, and uh, he, is, he is very intimidated. Uh, so, so he's cleaning his bat while this is all going on, cleaning the blood off of it. And while at, like, at some point while Vex is still talking... S- Suede simply takes the bat and like b- doesn't touch Vex, but like puts it in front of him as the cut it motion. Mm. Takes the towel, the bloody towel, and throws it in the guy's face. And he says, "That'll be your blood. I'm cleaning up if you don't shut the fuck up in a minute." He kind of whimpers, holds his daughter a little closer, and uh, it, it looks like he's resigned to accept his fate at this point. Yeah. So. Th- <clears throat> Sometimes you just not got gotta know how to talk to people, Vex. You know, you you have shown me quite a few new tricks. I thought this old dog was done learning today. Well, I'll be glad to share a few drinks with you next time. Let's get this mission done first. Agreed. So you guys uh, get to the meet. There is uh, what looks to be a uh, a dock wagon van there as well as the Johnson, her two bodyguards, and a uh, very uh, very well-dressed man in a suit. As you get, as you uh, pile out of the car, I'm assuming carrying uh, the daughter and the, uh, the guy, uh, she says, very good, I'm glad you're here. Was uh, everything acceptable on your end? I hope to not, not too much problem. It was adequate. Now, now, now. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice. <laughs> yes, well done as, there. As Swade said, everything was adequate. Vex just rolls his eyes and drops his hands to his side. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't help myself. No, it's perfect. <laughs> I, like, that it was, was literally great. the way to end a meet right there in, in like three words. <laughs> okay. Crash Cart is going to toss the Johnson, the Comlink. And say, I'd be careful with that. They had a pretty nasty setup. Except, but, well, I assume the uh, the formula notes are on here? Yeah. Should, yes. Uh, she takes it. Um, did, had you ever turned it off at some point, or was it always on? Oh, I would have turned it off, yeah. Okay. So she takes it and hands it to the gentleman standing next to her. Um, the new The new gentleman here. Um, as her two bodyguards come and collect uh, the man and his daughter from you. Right. They are instantly ushered into the dock wagon as um, uh, two dock wagon uh, attendants jump in after them. The man nods to the lady and walks, gets in the, the, uh, the dock wagon van, and it takes off. She turns back to you and says, Very good. Uh, the ploy- the, my employer was especially um, pleased with the uh, return of his daughter. That's why he wouldn't come with uh, with them Willingly, he uh, he would not leave without his daughter. So uh, you have definitely exceeded our expectations. I'm very glad to hear that we have uh, done our job to your liking. So uh, in addition, you will be getting the 2,000 bonus that we talked about as she hands you all um, a cred stick. All right. What's the total payment? Uh, the total payment was 13, so 15,000 each. Nice. And the karma for this run will be six. Wow. Jeez. Saving the kid helped a lot, didn't it? Yep. There were three possible out- outcomes. 
if you save the daughter and let the chemist go, that's uh, um, or you save the daughter and let him and the chemist go, that was going to be a, a lesser pay. So my notes are eight GMP in karma and then three GMP in cash as a feel good run. If you, you you saved the daughter and gave her and the chemist to the mob, so that's six and six with the additional three thousand <coughs> bonus that you guys worked up. And if you had let the daughter um, or had not saved her and uh, just handed over the chemist, that was three and eight. So they, they would have paid you more, um, but uh, just to make the rewards even out across all possibilities kind of thing. All right. So I'm going to um, use the... Uh, I'm going to donate 10,000 New Yen to um, uh, magical research uh, organizations. Um, if you uh, just want to type it into the Skype chat for me for my notes, if you're working for the people, working for the man, and then how much. That way I can record it for the after action. Yes. Hold on. And if there were any post-run purchases or whatnot, sorry, it went a little bit long, but um, uh, that wasn't too bad. I estimated three to five hours for people, and then we took a lot longer on the planning phase than I thought, but uh, than I thought we would. But uh, I think that worked out fairly decently in the end. Uh, got a lot of good conversation in. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. There, there was a lot of good role play. I am sorry yeah. if it went a little longer than everybody expected. That's all right. That's what you get for bringing a slow, long talker. <laughs> Hey, you're nothing compared oh, to Tracker, man. That is very entertaining. I, I, I was out to bring up the Character. Monsignor. And uh, I, I do want to apologize if you felt, felt left out there in the combat vex. I was trying not to uh, have no, that happen. No, it's fine. Um, that was that was just uh, me not meshing up with the, uh, the the team combat plan. So, no worries. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to go the fuck to bed because I got court yeah. tomorrow. So. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Well, that's one hell of a way to end. <laughs> <laughs> not bad but court. Yeah. Not bad court. I'm not going to jail, but jury duty. <laughs> no, actually, my ex is trying to get rid of the child support because we're technically split custody now, which is fine. I just actually got to go in, and for some strange reason, they can't just take my statement on the phone. Like, yes, it's okay. That's fine. I actually have to go to the courtroom and yeah. with her and do it. So, Jeez. yeah. Uh -huh. Well, thanks again for everyone for coming along and uh, mm -hmm. thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks. For, from, what I, from, from what you've told me about your ex, I wish you luck for tomorrow. Eh, it's, it's not as bad. She's gotten a little better, but you still gotta yeah, be on your guard. Alright guys, I'll I'm gonna end the stream and I'll talk to you guys later.